Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to share with you our trip to the Isle of Arran. We started early in the morning and reached Edinburgh Waverley Station. Our train is at 8.30 and we are on time. We are going to collect our tickets and then we will go to the platform. We booked the rail and sail ticket introduced by the Scott Rail. The rail and sail ticket is super flexible as it allows a passenger of either service to use just one ticket to travel between destinations using both a train and a ferry. This means we don't have to stand in any queue at ferry ticket offices or check-in and there is no need to book in advance for foot passengers. You just have to carry these many tickets carefully. All set. We boarded the train and this is how a Scott Rail looks from inside. Our journey begins. We are super excited as we have a long and exciting day ahead. So this is how our journey is going to be. Train journey from Edinburgh Waverley to Glasgow Queen Street. Another train journey from Glasgow Central to Ardrossan Harbour, where we will board the connecting ferry to Brodick of Arran. We reached Glasgow Queen Street. It took us about one hour to reach here. From here we will have to go to the Glasgow Central Station for our next train. It's about 10 minutes walk from here. Bus tickets are also included in our rail and sail. But looking at the beautiful weather, we decided we will walk. We are going to the station to check for our next train and then we will pick up some breakfast. Our train to Ardrossan is at 11.15. We have much time with us now, so we will grab a bite. We will also pick up some lunch as well, as reaching Aaron, we have a connecting bus and we might not get enough time to pick anything up from there. Our train has arrived and we are going to board the train. We picked up some lunch. There is a great bakery just beside the station. There is also quite a few takeaways in the central station as well.
We are passing the River Clyde of Glasgow. The day is beautiful today. We hope we get the same weather in Erin. The train is quite roomy and this train journey is very comfortable. We are now approaching so Please mind the gap when alighting from this train. The scenery near the Saltcote station is so beautiful. We thought of sharing with you. The view of the boats from here is very beautiful. You can also see the Isle of Arran from here. The ferry terminal is just beside the station. You can see the ferry standing there. It's already waiting for us. We had to exchange our rail and sail tickets for the formal ferry tickets from the terminal. And now we are going to board the ferry. We came up to the deck. Who's going to sit inside when the day is so beautiful? We'd rather be on the deck and enjoy the views. The Caledonian Macbrain fleet is the largest fleet of car and passenger ferries in the United Kingdom. This ferry can hold up to 120 cars. You can drive your car straight into the ferry and park inside. After all the passengers, in car and on foot, boarded the ferry, the bow of the Calmac closes and the journey starts. The Isle of Arran is not too far from the mainland. You can see the island from Ardrossan itself. The ferry ride is less than an hour. Those are the mountain ranges of Aran. The highest peak is called Goatfell. Mountains are called fell in some regions. The best way to explore a place is by walking or by a bicycle. We noticed many people left their cars at the Ardrossan car park and boarded the Calmac. Camping is also very popular if you want to spend the night amidst nature. We have planned to walk around the island. Mainly, we have two places in mind for these two days. We will visit the Blue Pool of Glen Rosa today and tomorrow we will go to the Macquarie Moor Standing Stone Circles.
Now let's give you a tour of the ferry. This is the lounge. It has enough seating arrangements. This is the view from the inside. Let's go to the lower deck. Here is the luggage area. Enough space for the passengers' luggages. So this way is the bar, shop, cafes. Okay, let's go this side. These ferries are pet friendly. There are designated pet areas and pets travel free of charge. But if you are carrying a pet, please familiarize yourself with your pet travel guidance prior to travel. So this is the shop. They have a variety of drinks and we buy it, cookies, cakes, even toiletries and these are homemade Aran specials. There are souvenirs also. Oh, there's bags as well. There are liquors and soft toys. We have come back to the upper deck. The views are amazing. The weather being so clear and sunny, it's spectacular. But yes, it's very windy out in the deck. So make sure you carry proper covers, even if you're traveling in a hot day. We have almost reached and we can already see the Brodick terminal from here. We reached Brodick. It's 1.25 p.m. We are now getting off the ferry. Our next plan is to board a bus from the Brodick terminal, which will take us to the Glen Rosa walking trail. This video was about our journey 
from Edinburgh to Brodick. In our next video, we will share how we spent these two days in the island and where we visited. So stay tuned. We hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, please like, share and comment. And if you are new here, please subscribe the channel and stay connected. Thanks for watching.